Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profodex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 10. Inside this video session guys, we will learn about settings admin pages. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. So basically guys, so far what we have completed go to browser this is the admin lt admin theme we have set at the local host so this is the layout actually the theme default provides so what we want to do we want to filter out all these menus according to our need because right now it contains like dashboard has a top down list layout options widgets charts ui elements and so on so we want to filter out all these things according to our need so what basically the menus we want inside this application so back to slide inside this tab I have written some concept of menus so first of all we want a home home basically denotes about the dashboard of our admin panel rest it has some class section class faculty type faculty student and class section as we know that we are going to create a small application of school management system so in that system we need some classes we need some faculty types we need some faculties and also we need some students so on the behalf of that concept we have made this menu system first of all we have to create the classes and then on the basis of those sections we need to create classes because it contains like a b c d e f and so on and it contains the data something like 1a 1b 1c and so on this basically contains about the types this type denotes about the teaching and non-teaching faculty types on the behalf of these faculty types we need to create some faculties and finally we need to create the students which basically is the important play or role inside this school management application so just i'm going to editor inside this editor guys if you have remembered then we have created a separate file for this layout section like sidebar so back to our editor so inside this application folder just you need to go inside this resources inside views inside admin and inside this layout section we have created a file something called left sidebar.play.php just open that inside this file we have separated all the codes of our left admin bar right here so if I go going to delete all these code and reload this browser as we can see that the left sidebar has gone so this is all about the code of left sidebar inside this file so we need to fix first at this file so go to top as we can see that this is all about our admin name and this is something online all actually if you refresh that this is all information here and also here is search bar this search bar has a code and this is something here okay so first of all we need to fix about the dashboard because right now dashboard contains a drop down list so we want a simple menu so if I scroll down right here at the bottom as you can see here is some like important warning and information which is some uh, simple menu if I scroll down this is about the simple okay so if I get cut it from here go at the top inside there the top section guys I'm going to just paste it here inside this main navigation okay and also I want to change the font or some icon so I if I copy this far for dashboard paste it here and if I make the comment of this already made dashboard save this file go to browser reload this page and this is all about and also we have to change about the text so this is not important this is our dashboard save this file reload this page and this is our dashboard which actually appearing as a simple menu and also we have to change this text color so get rid of this class text red save this file reload this page and all we have done with this dashboard next we want about the class sections okay or the faculty types so back to our editor if I just uncomment this and I want to use this dashboard to let's say that class okay basically this class contains two of the sub menus 
which basically is useful to create our class sections so let's say class sections and also it is for the classes okay so if I save this file go to browser reload this page now as we can see that here class is a drop-down and basically this class is used to create the class sections as well as the classes or we can make it as more simple so if I go to editor let me make two other menus so these are the sub menus and inside this sub menus I have just copy and pasted so first of all this is for let's add section okay this is and also this is all about listing of sections here we have to provide called add class and this is for the list classes so if I scroll here and also we have to remove the active class from here okay why actually we are removing if I just make it as if I save this file go to browser reload this page and as we can see that this is the class by default it is active okay so that's why we are removing this active class from here save this file reload this page and this is the class section basically this class contains four of sub menus like add section list sections add class and list class basically it is used to add our sections it is used to list our sections it is used to add our classes and finally it is used to list all classes so all we have done with the class menu and also we have to remove some of the active classes I think so this is just we are getting to that and we have done now save this file reload this browser and this is all sub menus okay so finally we have done with the classes these all things are completed okay so if I put it as done let's say done and finally done next we have to set up our faculties so back to editor let's say that if I just wrap all these things first so these are the allies allies these are the themes provided actually our menus so if I just get rid of all these things and this is final ally so get rid of all these things and deleting I am deleting all these things from here and also these things save this file reload this browser and this is all about what we have created like dashboard and the class back to editor inside this editor next we have to set up about so if I just I'm going to add some comment so this is our blade comment syntax so let me write that this is our for dashboard okay only for the dashboard and finally this is for our let's say that class or this is a keyword so basically we have written inside our classes this is a comment only so if I copy this syntax go here next we have to create for the menus of faculty so let's say that this is a for the faculty okay inside this faculty we have create some menus some menus so this is about called add type this is add faculty type and list types okay add let's say faculty and finally we have to list let's say faculties we have to list all the faculties so if I save this file go to browser reload this page and all we have with the faculty let me change for about the font or some icon so this is all about actually this is the actually faculty so this is for for users which basically, basically contains about the users list and also with the classes let me change as far far list okay save this file reload this browser and these are the font or some icons inside this faculty we have four sub menus like add faculty type list faculties types add faculty and finally we have listed all faculties so all we have done with the faculty menu type okay so this is put it as done and finally we have done okay next we have to work on the student section back to editor inside this editor and these are the menus for not for classes this is all for the faculties okay faculties finally we have to make for the students so if I copy and paste it here go at the top 
and let me change it to let's say students okay so this is also for for users and this is for the student okay inside the student what we want inside this sub menus so finally we have to add as let's say student add a student and finally we have to list students so before that we need to actually assign or before assigning those let me remove all these things first so I am removing all these things so what basically this student menu contains so save this file reload this browser and finally we have a student inside this student while adding this student we will assign the class and the class action to inside this add student and finally we have listed all the students so finally guys we have done all about the settings of our menu systems of admin panel now next what we have to remove all we have to remove about this top header okay so back to editor for the top header we have to go inside this header file and inside this header file first of all let me rename this admin lt this is admin lt so if i change it something let's o and finally w t online web tutor and this is admin owt save this file reload this page and this is admin online web tutor finally we have to remove or change about the top header section so inside this navigation tag this is all about the toggle symbol this is all about this toggle symbol okay now we want to remove this top header and this is something has some messages some of the notifications and this is about the user profile so back to our editor and let's say that we don't want about this messages so if I go to this UL or instead of this why we are not removing this whole section of li so if I remove that save this file go to browser reload this page and all we have removed about the messages section also we have to remove these two sections also so back here let me this li and li from here and remove all these things save this file and this is all we have done now finally we have to change about the settings of this profile so back to editor so inside this so I am going to rename this let's say that online web tutor this is only a static value for now we will change dynamic in our upcoming videos okay and inside this profile if I open this profile inside this profile it contains several informations so we need to customize that we want to make it as a much simple application so back to editor now inside here this is a UL basically this UL contains all the informations like followers sales frames and so on so I'm going to this ally section first of all this is about the information okay so I'm not going to remove that back here this contains about the followers, sales and the friends list I'm going to remove all these things save this file reload this page open here and this is all about profile and sign out option also we have to rename this name here so let's say that online web tutor this is all about the author name save this file reload this page and all we have done with this name so finally guys at the end we have customized our left sidebar and the top menus so in our next video session guys we are going to customize our pages and add our pages according to our need basically according to our need we need some form we need some listing data tables and so on to show all the records inside this dashboard section we want some matrix like this we want to show all the created list of students classes faculties and so on so all we want inside this dashboard we want some matrix like this which basically show the counts inside this classes we need to show some forms by the help of that forms actually we save some records and finally about saving all those records we have to show inside this list section so inside this we want some server side data tables and so on about all these menus what we have done and finally we have to make a profile section and also with the login and the sound sign out operations inside this application so step by step we will cover all these things inside this small school management application so back to slide so all we have done with these menus
So if you have any doubt in the, inside this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.